Hey, mini fish. July seventh, twenty eighteen, seven seven. And uh, what I'm going to show you here, uh, I I'm just telling you, I, it came to me like really quick this morning, all just at once, more or less. And it brought back some things that were shown to me over a year ago. Um, but I walked in the house and she had this video on and the guy was talking about Mars and something to do with Scorpio. And, you know, I don't get into the whole planet stuff, you know, not really anyway. And then I come out to my office and I put in uh, the check-in headlines. And this is up here from Newsweek from yesterday talking about the Mars rover that can't can't drive itself because of a dust storm on Mars right so Mars Mars I and it brings back like I said this imagery from over a year ago right there was an article on NASA of course and March 20th of 2017 it's talking about a Mars volcano okay Earth's dinosaurs went extinct about the same time. Just a weird article. I'm not going to read it to you, but you know you can you can read it. I'll link it. I just have to show you this because, and I did show this before. I don't remember exactly when, but I'm assuming it was probably right around this time because I saw this when it came out. Okay, and so they give us this image of this volcano on Mars. And what I did then and what I'm going to do now is just uh, put it in a little editor and show you some stuff. But before I do that, another article that a commenter left, which thank you very much, um, about this proposed New York City storm barrier, right? I mean, look at this thing. I took the image just so you could see the image better. They proposed this big, giant wall and i mean just look at that thing because immediately it reminded me of uh what do you call it colossus remember colossus maybe you didn't learn about him in school in history but it was a giant statue it was, it was a real statue you know there's there's no way around it and it was situated here off the coast of what's now turkey okay very interesting port of Rhodes. very affluent at the time very strange that he pointed out towards the mainland of turkey here which is the area where uh, all the churches mentioned in revelation are basically all located right in this area right here that's where they are so i found that interesting and not only that just the the layout of what they show us here right it envisioned the statue, okay, the Statue of Liberty. What was the Statue of Rhodes? Same thing, same crown, same torch, okay? I'm not even going to get into the meanings of the statue right now because what i got to show you is just freaky. And I, it's got to mean something because I, I see it. It's shown to me, so I'm not going to get into the details of this guy. So back to the article that was in... Uh, NASA last year I take this image okay now just keep in mind all this these things about the the roads and all that stuff right and remember the little channel here and envision that in your mind you know the whole port where that those gates and that wall come in right because that's that's what these little things down here represent to me and you can't take away that in this image supposedly of Mars I mean look at this that that's like undeniable to me that's just a, a profile of the Statue of Liberty or the Statue of Rhodes the Colossus it's 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 basically the same thing exactly and I got this little pen here and this edit editor thing here <laughs> I'm just not used to this thing that's all but I can try and draw I can use this little pencil I, I'm sure you can see it I mean there's the crown right there and there's the profile it goes right down or eye right there the nose see I can't draw with this thing good it's just not my gig you know 
but there she is, you guys. I mean, seriously, that's like the profile of the Statue of Liberty or Colossus. And not only that, get a load of this. These these things here look like little gates, like, you know, like into the port almost. That's what they they appear to like is to me. That's what I see. And the freakiest thing of all, right? And this is just how it works, you guys. You know how turning everything upside down in this satanic spiritual, you know, realm that they pepper us with, rather, all around us, the symbolism, the hidden things, the hidden meanings, and all these things. Well, I got to show you this, because watch what happens when I turn the colors upside down in this image, okay? Statue of Liberty, the gates to the port there, this is how I see it. And this is supposedly the volcano. But when I take the colors and turn them upside down, invert them, whoosh, man, that looks exactly like ocean to me. I don't know about you, but it does to me. And then, to top it all off, you guys, and I hope you can see this because it's there. This is just so freaky, I can't even tell you in the pit right we're going down into the pit and look at these little characters right here can you see these guys <laughs> let me I, this time i have to try and draw it because they're so right there's the eye of one of them right there and there's the other eye right there and he's got like this big nose okay now let me take away those things so you can see you see, that's his whole head right there. There's his mouth right there. Isn't that just freaking crazy? Excuse my language. But it's there because it's proportionately right. And there's even another little guy right next to him. He's a little harder to make out. But he's quite the little character. He's wearing a hat. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, right? He's harder to see, but he's there. But this guy... There's no denying it. This big, giant, lunkhead-looking creature down in the pit. And they look like they just can't wait to get out. That's what it looks like to me. So that's what I'm showing you. But this, supposedly, this is a original image from the Mars, what do you call it, guy there. The observer or whatever. I'm going to link this. Okay? So <laughs> you can do with you with you will with this man and, and it's just the way it is the way i see it the way all these things are coming before us like in the last day talking about all this i don't know what to make of it but i see it and it comes upon my spirit that it's definitely something i mean i cannot i cannot deny this i cannot deny this i mean especially when i turn the colors upside down all right this is what they give us from NASA. There's the statue and the two little channels there in the pit. And you turn the colors upside down. Woof. Like a tidal wave. And there are creatures in that pit. I'm just telling you, this is what I see and I got to show you. And there's more. There's a lot more to this, but it's hard to see. And I only want to show you things that you can see. So, I mean, I have to show you that. This is just, that's just beyond anything that you could ever call, you know, an accident or, I mean, geez. I'm not going to sit here and harp on it forever. But, you know, you had to see this. I had to. As usual, you know, there you go. So, <laughs> what does it mean? It's very dark. It doesn't predict anything nice, that's for sure. But when you're in Christ and you understand the Word of God, you know that these things must be. And so it's incumbent upon me to inform you that these things are coming upon the earth. The very things that we're showing you, I don't know when or exactly how they will play out. I just don't. But I know it's going to. And regardless, you know, we all die. There is a life after death, people. Okay? And there's also a death after death. You need to live your life in a way that 
you understand that this isn't all there is. Okay? And the only way to understand any of this is through Christ Jesus. I'm telling you, he's the only way to the truth. It's all we have. That's it. And you can go through all the other channels. You can go looking through all the other gurus and religions and whatever you want to do. But until you come to the saving grace of Jesus Christ, he is the door. <laughs> so you need him. He is the Savior, the Messiah, not a Savior. He is the Savior, and he's the only Savior. So seek him first and diligently and humbly, and he will show you exactly everything you need to know. And that's just a fact. So I'll link all of this stuff, you guys, because it's worth looking at. It, it really is. Even the description and the the title, the volcanoes all going on and everything, and this nuttiness with Colossus. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Right outside the churches in Asia. I mean, really. You got to admit, that's pretty wild stuff. And I wish I could give you more detailed definition and understanding, but this is what I understand of it thus far. And believe me, if it comes past across my path again, you guys will be the first ones to know. But gee whiz, man. Can't can't deny that anyway, so I had to show you. Peace and grace to y'all. Shabbat Shalom. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 